Let's see what's going on here. Right. So, a jello, a good evening, and welcome back. We're going to get that in the chat as well. Jello all. I'm going to see what's going on because I'm having a few hiccups at the minute. Hopefully, uh, my notifications have gone out. I haven't seen anything pop up. It's a bit concerning, really, because uh, everything should be running just right. Um, let's see what's happening here then. Oh, have, you, have you seen notifications yet? Yeah, it should be Twitter. Should have gone out. So, hmm. Hopefully, it has gone out. It should have gone out. We should be getting things kicking off. Uh, let's see. No. What's going on here then? I'm just waiting on Wabbit to let me know who's gone out. But while we're waiting, I will get the links out. So let's go ahead and grab links. Uh, links. So while we're waiting for everyone to come join us, you can uh, pop over to the links. Are the links working? Oh, the links are. Oh, here they are. The links are working. So while you're waiting, we have our Discord where you come join us, see what builds we're up to, where we are in the builds, what we're doing, what games we're playing, hints, tips, and everything else. It's all on there. Obviously, once you join it, you've got to read the rules and follow the commands. We have our Facebook account, so you can come join us on Facebook. All you've got to do is uh, friend us and then just drop us a message to let us know what video you're coming from, so we can add you that way. We have an Instagram, so behind all the pictures on Instagram, there is a link to a video or any of the videos for that actual build. We have up next, oh, Mr. Fun of Fiverr, so you can pop over to the Fiverr store and purchase some Fiverr goodies. Uh, I believe that is still going to have a slight name change. Uh, can't see it here. Uh, not that one. Got so many here. Now it's still classes five at the minute there, so we'll carry on like that. All right. So yeah, they've got all sorts of stuff on there: phone cases, mugs, clothing, stationery. It's all on there. If you're watching this back later on from another social media platform, why don't you come join us over on a Twitch? Take part of the uh, 200 competition. And as soon as we get to 200, we'll spin a wheel and we'll find out who the lucky winner is. And they will, will receive some goodies. All the terms and conditions for that is on the Discord. It's free to enter. All you have to do is be an active follower. We have our Twitter account. So head over to Twitter. Hit that retweet when you see it. And you'll definitely get a shout out on here live at the beginning of the episode. We have our family friendly YouTube channel and obviously on there it's all family friendly content games. We're currently doing Lego Dimensions and Lego Star Wars 2 and there'll be some more games coming very very soon. All family friendly. And this is the main one for everyone else. It's the YouTube adult account. On there we have adult content games. We have the obviously the Titanic build. From Hachette, we have the Hachette's build of Eddie Stobart. We are helping Wabbit with her Hachette doll's house, her Disney's doll's house. We also have on there the Lego Ecto-1, which we are doing quite well. We've done another build of Lego, which was done today. Well, you're probably watching this later on, so it would have been done weeks ago. We've also done the Baby Yoda aka the child so uh yeah and we still got another build to go because we do have a nice new contact with legoland sent out some bits hopefully i've done enough coverage and they'll be sending out more goodies time will tell i'm due to have a meeting with them on the telephone soon on their day off so we'll uh, see how things will work out 
let's see what else we've got here and that is it and yeah what well, if you haven't yet come say hi in the chat and we'll uh, get you shouted out as well just all you've got to do is say hi spoon and then we know you're here you going to come and join us tonight wabbit try. you try you don't feel up to it do you you look tired you haven't done anything all day. What do you mean kids party? Oh well. Alright, so let's have a quick look here in the chat, see what we've got here. We've got me, me, the links. Hi there boy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. You seem to be a constant uh, viewer and all that. Well, you are a good friend as well. Uh, have, have you... um? You bring some post over to me, aren't you, Soon? Hi there, Claire. How you doing? Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm due some posts, aren't I? You said the other day I've got some posts. So we'll see if that comes through very soon. So we'll give a few more moments and uh, we'll uh, go for the re retreats. Alright, let's see what's going on. All right, let's have a look. All right, uh, I'm okay, thanks. How are you? I'm doing fine. Just a bit worn out because I've been here, there, and everywhere. We had a uh, little bit of a a scare. Um, I was actually given the two-hour phone call, started packing, and then 20 minutes later, I had a a phone call to say uh, it wasn't supposed to be for me, so I could then uh, get ready to uh, stand back down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, coming tomorrow to drop off. Thank you very much, there, Roy. I'll be ready and waiting, and uh, I'll make sure there's a cuppa, and we'll uh, see how things go. Alright, so let's go over to Twitter and find out who these lucky retweeters are, so you should have enough time to do it. Uh, I'll let Rabbit look after the chat minute, if anyone says anything. Alright, so last chance for your shout outs and we'll get things going. So let's see. In first we have Roy, in second we have Wabby, and in third we have Claire. Thank you very much, you three, for being the top three retweeters. So if you do retweet afterwards, thank you very much, but sadly you've just missed out. And we're going to get cracking. Oh, I don't think Wabby's going like that little message just being popped up for the bot, com the bot command. Oh, have you heard that, Roy? Off you go. Alright, so let's see. We are going to be moving on to issue number eight. Hopefully, uh, I'll get some more coming through. Let's just get the last little piece involved. I've left the engine packed away because I don't think we need it for this issue. Uh, what I've been reading on the Hashet website. So, in three, oh, out. Two. Oh, no, it's wrong. Change that quickly. Uh, there you go. That should do. One and let's go to main page yay all right so here we go so we had the ring binder already and we've got seven issues in there so we'll knock that over and get that all set up ready for when we finish issue number eight so obviously we've got the deck there that we need and um, i'm trying to go from what we saw in seven for what's coming up we need either the port or starboard hole i've got them laid out We've got some screws, spare screws left over. I've just been checking the numbers on them. So we've got AM, so that's metal, BM metal, CM metal, D, E, and F. So like A to F M's. And then we've got, um, what was this one again? That was AP, BP, I think it was. BP. So that's plastic. And then we've got one piece left over. I believe we are working on these parts today in this issue. Um, if it is anything to do with the deck, I will be looking at the issues itself. 
if it's just hot hole then it should be easy enough done so just have a quick look grab it rip it out, rip it out gently staples look okay and we'll leave that to one side a minute and we'll get the box oh we've got a bit of extra packaging in there get that tucked away in the bin so i don't know if that's supposed to be like that at all uh just take one side take the other that's first because i didn't have tape on the last one so we'll get our trusty uh laid out from slow part cut through there i will keep the box because the box will come in handy to send stuff away especially when it comes to the gifts oh we've got um, a strip of metal all right so that looks like that's port side so that's this one so we can do that without looking at the destructions what else we got if that's it then there's something else in there hopefully it's not stuck in the box yeah I can hear it hear it in there Oops. I've got it. Yeah, 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 that's it. Nothing else in the box. So we'll get rid of the box. Like so I'll keep that somewhere safe. I can use that for packaging. So what we've got here? Something small. Okay, so yeah, so we do have some items here. So we've got some a couple of fairly diddy bits in there. Something that yeah, it's all plastic and some more um, screws. Hopefully, we've already got them, so we can just put them in the same bags. And we can move on from there. So this just so we've got some really diggy pieces in there. We'll uh, come across them in a minute. I think I will have to use the destructions. We've got BP. So more there and we've got um cp okay so it's all um plastic orientated and we'll go from there and that looks like part of the stand all right so let's see got two sets of screws there oh i'll put it there right oh. yeah bp and cp so there's two there so that won't be it for this part there's three there and i'm sure we've got a bp up here um bp i'm sure we, I'm sure we did have a bp up there yes there yeah bp yeah bp just double check it looked identical so we'll take one from out this one. Might not, might not have a spare one. Well, we'll, we'll come across it when we can do. So let's see. So it's port side, about a hole, and uh, we'll just try and marry it up. See where it sits. Should sit there quite nicely somewhere. There we go. So it's going to be two screws locking it in out the three. That just sits on there quite nicely. Um, I'm sure there's supposed to be a yellow strip. I think just about here. Oh, a yellow strip just underneath. So obviously you're missing that one. Unless that's upside down. That's not. Uh, Hashe. Ah, we have a problem. We don't have a yellow strip. There's supposed to be at least a yellow strip just before the Titanic sign. The name nameplate there's nothing so i wonder if they've actually forgot to pack it we'll have a look in a minute and go from there so i want my ph0 screwdriver get this in this odd one first and yeah still got magnetizer on it which is good and uh, we'll uh, start putting it in 
So we lift it up, replace it back on, and screw it in. So as of today's of the um, streaming this, we should have had the next delivery of Titanic, and with that, it should be four issues and a gift. It should be a screwdriver set, if I remember rightly. But according to my account, it says we are getting a pocket watch. So I haven't seen much about it yet. I don't really want to have a chat on Facebook about it, but we'll uh, see what we'll get. Alright, let's get another screw out. Keep the plastic wallets because they're coming handy. And we'll go for this next one here. So we do what we normally do, little in and out turn. So we can make sure we get cut in nicely and try not to strip the threads and won't over tighten them to start with so we can get things going and we should be almost there right, so that's one in tight and this one just needs to go a little bit tighter because obviously you need a little bit of free play while we screw the other ones in as well And that should be it's nice and tight. There's no shaking or anything. But there we go. We have one strip on there nicely. But it is missing that yellow bead across it. Unless that's going to be a sticker that we've got to do it near the end. It doesn't seem to be sitting down there strong enough. So let's see if that does, does go a little bit tighter. Why is that? This whole thing that's loose. I'll put that out. Let's see if these go. Stop that from moving. Oh. Oh, it's still quite loose. Hopefully that gets pulled in tighter because it doesn't seem like it's going to go just flexing on that end. I wonder if we've got to try and screw some screws in there from here into here to screw it down to keep it tighter. Let's put the name plaque back the right way around. It should just sit in there nicely. There we go. So there's that one. And then we've got the deck. That should sit on there. I, I think I'm going to be right. We've got... What was it? One, two, three, four, five, six. I reckon we've got one, two, three. I reckon they will sit there screws will go down onto them and that's how it's going to sit virtually flush through the top so then we've got railings and all that to go on afterwards so yeah I reckon that's going to work out quite well so this put that there get the screw over the way and then that's sitting there once we've got some brace bars in between all right now it looks like we've got the deck part. I've got these here. Uh, PB, they can go there. One part there. So we'll keep that one spare. And we've got plastic, B plastic. So uh, they were C. So we need at least one of these. So one of these is going to be spare. Let's get that out ready. And uh, I've got a few parts here which I need to go and have a check what they've called. I'll get, get them out. I wonder if we've got any spare bits. I don't think we have on them. So we've got some really small pieces there. We'll keep that bag as well. Put that over there. And uh, let's get a little bit closer and see what we've got here then. Alright, so it's telling us about what's in the next issue, which is the other white piece a bit of plastic joining some rods and loads of screws hmm 
I wonder if that's the screws to screw it all together so it stands up quite right not too sure um, yeah we'll go through the book again probably at the end so let's see what we've got here we have one stand so I was right valve support uh, the bees these are cleats so we have two of these cleats I'll go and wrap it up so those are called cleats and we have, should have two of them which we do can we see where it goes yet no so remove them there we have winches two of and they are these silver things so we should those are the winches apparently and we've got two of them uh, valves for winches which must be these because it's again same two of these are very very small white pieces with a couple of lugs on one big one small so I think the big ones will go into the deck itself uh, let's see uh, we have the anchor chain guide which is E which is this thing so when I saw it that way I thought we might have to split it and put it on but it looks like it just gets screwed down and then we got uh, port top strip for forecast hull which is that white bit and then obviously we've got some screws with spare ones so what is it asking us to do so we want to put the winches in first which are these grey pieces and they seem to go up here so let's see so the winches yeah, almost lost the screw goes in that one there and that one there so let's give that a go being gentle and not to push it in I have been asked how's my deck because their their deck has bowed in places where they've kept it by the windows or near heat my deck is still flat is it is it flat just double checking yeah it's still flat because I've kept it in a bit of uh, a padded envelope there we go there is the two in there next we want the anchor guides the anchor guide I'm not reading it I'm just going by the pictures so as we've got a hole there that's be obviously the screw hole so that sits in there over the winches guides so there must be something that holds them down there then so I can't see anything in the picture just yet I'll replace the finger and it's got to be screwed in yeah we're going for the next picture over obviously we don't want to force it in or anything because we don't want the screws coming out the other end I'll just work it in and out no rabbit can't see that I'm going to leave it a little bit loose because we need to make sure that we don't screw it down odd and then we can tighten it up closer to the time let's make sure it's bleeding and we can get a bit more on it wind it off a little a bit more and then put it back in all right i'm a little bit disappointed i actually booked some tickets for the family for the titanic museum in london and uh we got there and they wouldn't let us in because they was overbooked so waiting for a refund on that but hopefully they do bring it back so i would like to go and hopefully if they do bring it back and this is done i'll take this with me try and meet up with some other fellow builders right up next are the cleats which are these 
remember them small grey ones like that and they seem to go let's see goes one there and one there so we'll uh, get them in place it's saying to well, it's showing tweezers tweezers well hands will do do they go wrong direction no it seems to be universal Nice, gently getting placed over. Get them in. Gently goes. No, oh, come on. No, I can feel through it. There you go. Come on. There we go. Almost in home. There you go, that's in. Nice bit of pressure, both sides. So that's in nicely. What I will say is if you have to redo your deck because it's lifted, bowed, or whatever, on the other side, use like a um, the compass point or um, one of your little tiny screwdrivers. Just gently poke them through or in cocktail stick poke them all through and take them out but remember which way they go even if you take a photo or refer back to the books poke them all through and then with your deck a little bit of heat to loosen off the adhesive so it all comes off glue the plastic glue the wood place it back together and put loads of pressure between the two leave it overnight and then put all the bits back in that's my little tip for that Let's get the other cleat in. Well, obviously, I've already glued mine down on day one, so that's my little modification for it. Um, but before, yeah, that didn't sound nice. Oh, okay. There's my little snapping sound, but nothing has snapped. Hmm. Okay, let's try again. Get it gently in place. Right, come on. That's first. Just over. And that is home. There we go. There's the other one. So both both cleats are in, and we are. Pretty done, but I don't like leaving them that like that because that's an easy breaking point. Alright, what's next? Oh, alright, so these little diddy things, which were the valves for the winches, they seem to go in between the hatch and these valves. So they go there and there. And it looks like, right, these little top little diddy bits, uh, there's like a little bit there on one side. So this side is empty, this side has a little dot on it. According to the picture, they have to be on port side. So we've got to try and squeeze them in just behind the hatch there. In front of them, so I wonder. Can no, that's not going to pull out gently. Oh, yes, it is. I pulled the hatch out and now. Let's try and squeeze these in. Oh, I've got chunky fingers, not as chunky as some people that I can, I can think of. But try and get these in. I may have to revert. Oh, no, so I might have to revert to. The pliers from the stove up. That's that one in. It's holding. I think that's probably why, because that's not screwed in. So I think that's why they said take it out. Well, they only said take it out. Uh, two valves, uh, holes in the hatch. Make sure the upright. On the left, oh well, I've already said that. Oh, it does say 
remove some of the valves first, which are the M1s. We didn't do that, we just removed the hatch. So let's try and uh, get this in. Ah! Try again. So I don't want to get tweezers out or the uh, pliers. There we go. Make sure it's square first before we push down fully. Alright, so that's in square, that's in square, and then we'll put the hatch back in. Have I put it the right way around? I think I have. There we go, it hatches back in. And that's that bit done, I believe. Yep, and then we've got to put the strip on where well, we've done all that. And uh didn't take long at all. So there's the deck up close everything in place obviously I do believe one two three four five six are going to be screws and then we probably would have some bits goes on top there afterwards obviously that goes across here and then same across there same across there just to cover the screws up and then we've got something else on there so yeah not too bad, and I think that's going to be another screw hole as well. So whatever goes in, whatever goes in that hole will cover this. So it's quite easily done, and everything else. So yes, that is what another part done. So let me just go. Uh, be right back in a minute. I'll quickly do an ad break because I've got something that I need to quick sort out, and then we'll go ahead and do the book. So three, two, or one, ad break. And while that's going, I'm just going to quickly sort sink out. Alright, so that's that bit sorted out. Just had to reset the microphone. Seems to be having issues with the microphone, having to reset. I think it's something to do with the actual OBS. I'm using because it's the uh, string labs because uh, when I logged on or came into it earlier there was uh, no microphone working I'll uh, pack everything up afterwards and then we'll just go through the book with yourselves and we should be good to go so a few more seconds left to go so if you are lucky enough to have another break thank you very much if not I'm terribly sorry but hopefully we'll get you back on there soon Right, so we've slightly tidied this up a little bit. I'll put the screws away in a moment. So I think the other brakes virtually done now, so let's uh kick it back over. So three, two, one, and we are back. So we're gonna go ahead and do the booklet now. So obviously everyone's seen the front page a number of times. Uh, let's see what we've got here. So in the next one, we'll just double check what's in the next one. It says um, cleats, spacers and joining panels for the assembly of the bow. So it looks like we've got another one then black brackets, which must go on this one. Screws, screws, another white strip for this one couple bars which must go inside to keep them apart and it says some bits so we must have these little joiners and it says cleats okay unless we screw screw that down there's loads of screws in that one but I think we'll uh, come across it when we get it so what is it? The band on board a Titanic one. So obviously there's the whole band. They obviously played to the final notes. Um, hand pit. Uh, the conductor's violin. Yeah. I believe that is 
all the routes and everything. Obviously, I will look into that properly. The race to the South Pole. Okay. Um, revival expedition. All right. Okay. Uh, bitter end. So yeah. The laboratory and reading room. Okay. So how about that? Looks like we've got some sort of uh, poster there and all that. Uh, class hierarchy. Titanic instructions for use. Okay, so it's an instruction booklet. Oh, this, uh, height of the fashion. Okay, so there's a couple of things there. And then obviously the destructions. I only went by the pictures. Obviously I've read all this bit out. But I went by the pictures. I'm gone from there, and then obviously the end. We complete the work. So we'll bring the folder in. I'm still not happy with that issue. It's like a bad print on it. And uh, we'll get this away, and then I can tidy up off camera. Make sure everything gets put away safe and sound, and nothing gets broken. Drop that down, drop over, drop, and then you can go under the desk with the other ones, just down there. Right, so, excellent. I'll go ahead and st stick the links there, ready for when we go to the other page. So we'll go to engine soon, and we'll stick the links out once more. Oh. So, while we are waiting and all that, don't forget to come join us on Discord, find us on Facebook, give us a message, say what video you come from, check out the Fiverr store, check out our Instagram and all the videos. We have the Twitch, the Twitter, the Family Friendly YouTube and the Adult YouTube. Remember, if you do like any of the content, leave a thumbs up. If you think I've been spoon, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button it's free click the notification bell and that will and then click over to all you'll get notified for every time the video goes live on youtube if you're coming over to twitch hit the follow button and you'll be entered into a free competition of 200 and then there'll be a chance to win some goodies we did do one at 50 and they had some goodies now it's 200 and then we'll work out our next milestone uh, i think that's about it yeah, we've done it all. So yeah, if you're liking of it, leave leave all the uh, thumbs up and notifications and all that. If you want to ask any questions, you can ask it on the video, or you can come find us on the Facebook or Discord to have a chat about it all. Other than that, I think we are good to go. So thank you very much for coming along. It has been great. We've just got to get the last little bit sorted out. Hopefully uh, the next lot is already in the post and being delivered to me tomorrow. And we should have some more because we should have three packages. So yeah, we'll sort that out. So yes, thank you very much for coming along. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. I was playing up again. Come on. Please. Stop. Come on, stop please.